best friends wins games, eh? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> every time, mate, every so are you, time. Are you... on the latest episode of the Women's Rugby Show. We are here at the start of 2019's fixtures at the most exciting game we've potentially had so far. I'm incredibly excited to be back with Adam at Allianz Park. Yeah, Beck, welcome back. Uh, welcome it's back good to indeed, have you here. yeah. What a game to be back for. Yeah, oh, make a return for that, right? Absolutely. Well, look, they, they say that uh, bitter neighbours make better enemies and it couldn't be more correct for this game right here. You've got two sides that are close, not just geographically, but also in the Tyrell Premier 15's table. So it's first versus second, and yeah. these two sides have got a bigger history than uh, Sir Alex Ferguson and, and Arsene Wenger. And big claim, big claim. Well, they're, they're, they're two names I didn't think I'd actually say on the, the women's rugby show. So it is a game that we anticipate will be fairly close. Saracens are sitting pretty at the top of the table, having only lost once this season to their opponents today. Um, but their opponents, Quinns, come into this on a 10-match winning streak, and that is nothing to be scoffed at. They've also, incredibly, only conceded two tries in their last three fixtures. So, unbelievable stats from both sides. Um, stick with us for today's show, because we are gonna go pitch side again after the game and speak to players, coaches, backroom staff from both teams. We don't favour anyone here at the Women's Rugby <laughs> Show. <laughs> Absolutely. And um, look, I guess before sort of we, we, we look at the game, it's probably a good idea to look at these two sides. Yeah, yeah, um, take it away. Thanks, it thanks, away. thanks. It's yours. <laughs> and also, apologies if there are any sound issues. Obviously, as you probably see in the background, um, we've got the development two, the development sides who are playing here first. Yeah. Uh, so they're, they're battling it and out at the currently. moment. Where are we at? Oh, 2014. It's a close game. Yeah. It's a close game. Probably will be actually similar for these two sides today. So, yeah, look, with these two sides, um, you know, there's a reason why Saracens are top of the table. Most points scored, least points conceded, and this game is going to be absolutely huge. So there's no surprise, really, that um, there's not been too many changes to the, the, yeah. the starting lineup from their last game. Mm -hmm. um, the main news is that Marley Packer has returned from injury. She starts in the back row. Um, and Poppy Cleal, who we know very well here on the Women's Rugby Show because uh, Bex, your mm -hmm. co-host for Wisp Sports Rock On Podcast. Yes, yes. So we'll put, we'll put the link below. Check out Wisp Sports. They're brilliant. They've got all things all women's sports. And um, yeah, so Poppy, she doesn't start today. She's on the bench, but don't be surprised if she comes on. Yeah, I think we've got to be keeping an eye on Poppy. Like, keep an eye on her actions on that bench, Adam, because I think she could be called upon to add a bit of firepower. Yeah, she definitely. She's been championing it a bit to, yeah. to play. But, yeah, um, Absolutely. Apart from that, there haven't really been that many changes. Only really in, in, in the front row, uh, Jodie Retty comes in, as does Hannah Duffy, mm. uh, and it means that May Campbell and Kay Searcy, uh, or CSC, sorry if I mispronounced that, but they actually miss out on a starting place. There are six or seven England internationals in this, this lineup for the Ladies in Black, so yeah, really powerful. Yeah, I think in total, when the England squads were announced, Saracens had eight, including like the, the elite, the Yeah, the EPS. Boys, they had eight, six for the yeah. top two. So that depth is unbelievable, isn't yeah, it, really? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, they're a strong side. Looking at uh, the visitors now, Harlequins, and this is a side that really needs little introduction mm. and needs little incentive for them. Uh, to, to come out and really have their A game on. If they win today, Bex, they go joint top yeah. of the Premier 15s. If they get a bonus point win, they go above Saris. Yeah. So wow. looking at the, the, the side that they've, that they've gone with Karen Findlay and Gary Street, they've made a couple of changes. So we'll just, we'll just run through those. Mm -hmm. So Emily Scott, we saw her, uh, the last game that we covered on, on this, ep um, the last episode on the, the Women's Rugby Show in uh, 2018, they were playing Valkyries. Emily Scott was playing a fly half. Mm -hmm. She's been moved to fullback, and that means that the fullback then, which is Heather Cowell, she goes to them to the wing with Jess Breach. In the centres, Stacey White and captain uh, Rachel Burford. She's like massive, so don't expect her to, um, you know, expect her to have a really big game. And then the, uh, the, the fly half situation is uh, Ellie Green. So she's been yeah. chosen to be that key, key position at fly half, control the play. So we need to watch out for Ellie Green today. Absolutely, watch out for Ellie Green. Going into the forwards, and again, there's been a couple of changes. Chloe Edwards comes in in the front row, and that okay. means Shauna Brown, 
Kuku is an absolute beast. So much energy, so much power, and she's really versatile. She moves into the back row, and the only other change for them is that Abby Scott, England International, she comes in in lock in place of uh, Taya Ashworth. So Adam, everything to play for today, and some incredible names in the lineup. Absolutely, well, they've got they've got about again six or seven England internationals, so they've got a lot to play with. Um, if we look at the fixtures between these two sides, yeah, we've said you know we've, we've kind of mentioned that obviously they're sitting first and second. Saracens have lost one game this season. Yeah, that one game they lost <laughs> was the Harlequin. Yeah, and that was only by three points. Yeah, go on. but I was going to say, but more importantly, the big game that um, these two faced was actually the end of last season. Yeah. when uh, Saris and Quinns were facing off in the final game of uh, the Premier 15 yeah. and it was Saris and Penway. Yeah, them. and I don't know if it's a good omen or not, but the development squad have just pinched the win at 2014. So yeah, Saris's development sorry, squad. Sorry, Saris's development squad have just pinched the win at um, 2014. So could there be a repeat of that? Well, I think, we should, I think we should look at the score. Oh, so we're always going to do this. Bex, I'm going to put you on the spot here because when you were... When you, <laughs> I knew you were going to mention this, yeah. When, when you were on the Rock On podcast, yep. Uh, yep. you predicted, you said to I Poppy Cleal, and I quote... And an England international, <laughs> I told her the score. You said that Saris were going to win today, 29-10. Yeah, I did. sticking with that. I'm, I'm going to stick with it. I've, I've got to stand by my words. I need to have some conviction in my words. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with it. Fair play. Come on. You're going to put me Contradict me. <laughs> right, you're going to put me on the spot. Fine. So look, you've you've gone for Saris. Almost a runaway win. This almost a runaway win. This is really not going to be an easy game. This no. is going to be a battle, I think, of the two packs. Yeah. And I would specifically watch out for the battle between Hannah Bottoman and Shauna Brown. Because okay. These are like the two powerhouses. Okay. I was at Harlequin's last game, and they weren't great, but they're just such an unstoppable force. And I think I can see in their in their managers and their coaches they've got so much confidence. Yeah. They really are um, on a roll at the moment. And I am actually going to go for a Harlequins win. I think Saris I think Saris can afford to lose. I don't think it'll be a bonus point win. Okay. And I think they're only going to win maybe. I think there may be one or two tries in it max. Okay. But I will go for a point win. So of course you've heard our predictions, but before we go anywhere else, make sure you do the old like and subscribe because we want you to keep up to date with us. We want to engage with you on social media. Make sure you follow us at Women's Rugby Show, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and of course YouTube for all our content. Now, you might have had enough of us. You've heard, certainly oh, heard what Adam and I have thought. I was going to say, you've certainly had enough of Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> you've certainly ha heard probably enough from us today. So we're going to go and see what the fans think. And hopefully we can catch some family members or hardcore Saracens or Quinns fans today. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. So we are here with two Saracens fans. Ladies, introduce yourselves. Easy. I'm Lily. Evie and Lily. And so, Lily and Evie, you are hardcore Saracens fans, yeah? yeah? Yes. Who are you most excited to see today? Everyone. Everyone? Yeah, okay. same. Yeah, same. What is it you like about rugby? That is, I think it's full contact. You like the full yeah. contact? Yeah, I think well. you run a lot and it's like really entertaining. Yeah, yeah get You're always moving. You are always yeah. moving. And what about like being part of a team? Do you like that side of it? Yeah. 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 Yeah, because we have other friends outside. Yeah, exactly. Well. A whole different yeah. friendship group, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Have you guys watched any of the England games? I've actually watched a few of my family. Have you? Yeah. yeah. And do you think you'll be keeping an eye out for the Six Nations? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what about? Are you excited to see any of the England players in action today as well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I thought really. so. Okay, girls. Now it might be quite obvious the question, but who do you think is going to win today? Sarah said. By a lot or by a little bit? By a lot. A lot. Okay, yeah, yeah. girls, you're sticking with me for predictions. All right, thanks, girls. Okay, so I've uh, got two young fans here. Hello, boys. What are your names? I'm Louie and I'm Duncan. Louie and Duncan. Okay, right. Who are you here to see today? Saracens. Saracens. Brilliant. And have you been to Alliance Park before? I have. I haven't. Never been, but this is your first time in Alliance yeah. Park? Brilliant. Have you ever watched any women's rugby before? I have quite a I lot. Haven't. One has quite a lot on the TV and quite a lot. Yeah, here we as don't well. have Sky, so we just listen to it sometimes. Nice, fantastic. Who uh, who's your favourite team? Saracens. Saracens. <laughs> <laughs> and do you watch any men's rugby as well? Yeah, I I've can't watched... watch it, so I just listen to it. On I've come uh, here a lot. I've come. I went to I go to lots of different places to watch men's as well and I do watch men's Saracens here as well. Brilliant. And in terms of watching men's and women's rugby, is there much difference, do you think? Mm, um not no, really. Not really. 
Both, both, both as entertaining as each other? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put you on the spot. I think I know what the answer is going to be here. Who's going to win today? Saracens. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks, boys. You're welcome. Okay, so we've got Martin pitch side at the moment. Now, we're getting conflicted messages from Martin because, as you can see, he's got a Quinn's hat and a Quinn shirt, but he's holding the Saracens flag. Martin, explain yourself. Okay, so I'm a Quinn's fan, Quinn's through and through. Yeah. Um, however, I've got a family that are all Saracens fans. Um, it all initially started when we went um, and watched the big match at Wembley. Right, so yeah, I took yeah. my son to watch uh, Harley Quinns versus Saracens. Quinns got dumped. Saracens yeah. got, yeah, Saracens got the better. So of they Quinn. became glory. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's exactly <laughs> it. So hence me carrying flags. That's, that's what it's all about. But you've got your true spirit. With yeah, your hat true spirit. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Always wear the uh, underneath is a Quinn shirt. Okay, always wear yeah, that to every single home. Well, where, every time we come to a, a Saracens game, always yeah. wear that. And so, do you follow both the men's and the women's then? Yes. Um, we, we are season ticket holders for right. Saracens. Yeah. Um, we watch every sort of home home match. We go. We've been to quite a, a lot of way matches. Um, for that, that's men's and women's. Amazing. So yeah. we've, we've travelled for the women's. Just for the women's, we've travelled to Bristol, Gloucester. Uh, Worcester. Oh wow, the length yeah, of yeah, yeah, the Yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing. So we, we try our best. So it's been quite exciting for you as a Queens fan in the last ten games, I think, having won. Oh, it, just just in in general rugby because this this today. So take, taking today's match, it's it's just like the if you want to showcase women's rugby, this this a game match like here. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. This this is the yeah. match. This is the match. And a game like this. All all, all games are the same, but this is in particular the you know, the. It's more or less you can make an England squad out of this. this yeah, exactly. Whole thing, and, yeah. Okay, so t as you touched on it, what do you make of like the, them having England rugby offering full-time contracts? Oh, to... amazing, amazing. It, so today, my daughter's a uh, flag bearer, uh, guard of honour, that sort of thing. Yeah, and she comes to all the home games. She knows all, all the players. So you ask any of the Surrey players, they all, all know my daughter's name Zara. Um, so she idolises Lottie Clap. She's got Clap yeah. on the back of her shirt amazing. and things like that. Yeah. So it's you know the, the England contracts and getting through through to. Um, inspiring kids and inspiring the yeah. country. I mean, it's, 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 it's just works wonders. Yeah, and I think, you know, we've seen it in other sports as the women do better and better, you know, football, netball, the lot. It starts getting into mainstream media. Do you see it happening like that with the um, rugby? I, I do. Um, so, as I said, rug, rugby fan through and through, we, we uh, get the weekly subscription to rugby paper. Yeah. Um, and it's good to see now that the women have got a, a page. You know, yeah, you know, just just little things like that. It's it's little steps, baby steps. Yeah, right? uh, yep. exactly that. Yeah, and it's it started to come through. Yes. Oh, yes. brilliant! And it's amazing you watch both and follow them so closely. So, who do you think? You know, the family loyalty is divided down the middle. But who do you think Martin's going to take it today? From the heart. Okay, <laughs> from the heart. I, I want Quinns to win, but Sarri, I'm just looking at the Sarri's team today. That's such a strong team. Incredible, such a strong yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. Both teams are strong today, but yeah. I think they, Sarri's mm, okay. unfortunately got the edge. So the heart says yeah. Quinns, but the head says Sarri's. Yeah, team. unfortunately. Great. Okay. Well, thanks for your time today, <laughs> Thank you very Martin. much. Thank you. Thank you.
Rachel, um, it's for sure it's difficult to put into words the emotions for today. How does it feel? Um, yeah, I think we're really disappointed. We played a lot of really good rugby and we made the scoreboard look really good at one point. Um, but, you know, we know that Sarah's a good side and that if we step off the mark, then they're going to come back at us. And, and they did exactly that. It was almost like two heavyweights at the start, really sort of taking slugs at each other. One team scored, then another team scored. How did it feel out there in the first half? Yeah, it did feel a little bit like that. It was a case of, you know, we would do something really well and then we'd switch off um, and they were doing the same thing. And, and we always know with Saracens, it's always to the 80th minute, um, as we just literally saw there. The, the tries were flying in and, I mean, I think you obviously, you know, if you don't mind me saying, you were probably one of the, the best players in the first half, had some really quick hands. What was it about Saris maybe in the first half that did you feel like they took maybe their, their foot off the gas, they weren't prepared because it didn't look like Saris that we're used to? Um, to be honest, I can't comment on, on how they come out to perform, but we had a real focus about what we wanted to do. And, you know, in that first half, we really did execute and we had the confidence coming into the second half and we rebuilt on that. And then, you know, that last 10, 15 minutes, we kind of just let it go thinking it was done. Is that is that how it feels? Does it feel like it was a game lost rather than a game one, I guess, for Saracens. Yeah, I think, you know, we, we did gift that to them at the end. We, we had a really strong lead and we should have held on to that and there's no excuses for that. What does it mean for your title chances now? Well, I mean, you know, there's still plenty to play for and this isn't, it's not the final, is it? It's just a league game. Um, you know, we're still sitting second and we're proud of that. So we'll just take each week as it comes and come playoffs. Hopefully we're in that and then we'll see where we're at. And how do you pick yourself up for the next game? Obviously, we, we were um, sitting quite close to uh, uh, Karen and Gary and there's so much confidence coming from them. Does that yeah. uh, resonate down to you guys? Well, I mean, there's no better place than going to play at the Stoop next weekend. So I think that's pretty much that will get us up for it. And, you know, we definitely want to come out and rectify some of the wrongs that we did tonight and everyone wants to make a real point. Brilliant. Well, look, this, this will be up before that time. So uh, if you do get to see this, go and check out Harlequin Ladies uh, at the Stoop. And, uh, yeah, sorry about today's game. No worries. Thank you. Thank you very much. Gary, uh, really tough to take, I'm sure. How did you see the game pan out? Yeah, no, we just threw it away. I think um, I didn't give uh, good enough pictures. I think the referee was, was all over us at the, at the breakdown um, for what you've seen then, and we didn't react well enough to that. Um, total control. Um, you know, they've got the very effective catch-and-drive game in, the, uh, in our 22, and they did that and kept them in the game. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to lose. I thought we were by far the better side. Your, your game plan going into it obviously looked like it was almost going ahead perfectly in the first half. How does it feel from your side? Like, Was it going as, as planned or just was something perhaps not quite right to put to finish them off? Uh, yeah, I mean, beat 28-12 up away at Sarius. It looks like the game plan's going pretty well, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, just lack of lack of managing the, the last part of the game and, um, yeah, very disappointing. We were actually sat quite close to you up in the press box and we heard you obviously talking about maybe some of the infringements by the, the Saris players. Do you think that had some effect on the outcome? Because maybe the referee perhaps didn't see them or didn't act on them. I'll look back at the video and see that. It's always different when you're in, in a game and it's passionate, isn't it? So you see things differently sometimes in the video. But we'll look back and, you know, and um, we'll have to move on. That's the important thing. How do you pick the players up after this? They've got to drive it themselves. I think if I was a player personally, I'd be absolutely devastated. I've been in such a good position and then um, come away losing the game. I think you, I think you know, coaches can do so much and, and, and we do, but you know, as a whole coaching, management, playing staff, we'll just all look at it on Tuesday and we'll get back on with it. And let's not forget, you defeated Saracens earlier in the season, so this absolutely doesn't mean end of the season, end of the line, end of the title chase. Definitely end of the title chase. It's just a bit disappointing day to day and you know, everyone ten on the bounce and um, you know, we've got to make sure that what we do next is, is back to our best again and not, not what we showed that last 20 minutes. Absolutely. Well, look, you've got some quality players, obviously quality management, you and Karen, so we wish you the very best of luck for next week. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. OK, so we've got four members of the winning squad today. So, ladies, over to you. you can... Give us some thoughts. <laughs> well, I just think it's an open-ended well. question. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I just think it's a fantastic comeback. I think 20 minutes ago we had we were like 15, 16 points down. Um, credit to the bench that came off. They gave us tempo, like the desire not to give up and keep fighting. And I think that's something that we take forward now to, for the rest of the season. Yeah. Anyone else want to give another insight into the game for you? Ooh, okay. I don't know. I just think the there's a couple of cards during the game. I think that kind of swung things a bit um, both ways. But uh, both ways, kind of when the yellows happen, I know we got yeah, one yellow <laughs> card by this this lady over here. Um, but you know what? We dug deep at that moment and to not concede when that was happening. Yeah. I mean, we, there was a lot of in, in in the kind of between the tens play, and then actually when we put our foot down and then last three tries, um, again, I credit to I mean Poppy and all the subs coming on. I mean, 
Leanne Riley didn't want to run at you after, the, after a few of them hit. So I think it kind of it did swing our way then, and we just we just went. And Sydney, what 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 a, what a score from Sid and what a run from Vicky. Yeah, so. unbelievable, wasn't it? Um, so it was always going to be like um, an intense game, wasn't it? Yeah. Can I talk to us about the yellow card? Was it for dissent? <laughs> <laughs> On the spot. Um, I don't think it was. No, it, I just I well, I thought that I well the team deserved something that um, apparently oh, the ref didn't. didn't. No, I thought I, I just thought it was a tackle. You'd broken off from the mall, so it was a tackle. So I thought she had to roll away, but like don't I'd, say too much so you watch it back though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, no, and I I guess I deserved it, but. Um, You've got to watch it back. Yeah, I'll, 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 yeah watch it back. Did you apologise for me having to come off? Yeah, I did. I did have to apologise for her because she had to come off because of me. Um, but no, I think at that moment the girls dug deep, and um, I think me and Packer made sure that when we came on, we we, we added to the game. So um, yeah, I think all in all, not great, but um, we dug deep in the end. So. But how frustrating was it for you to have to sit on the sideline and watch? You know, as the as the game at points was slipping yeah. away, but typical Sari style, you staged a comeback. Yeah, I mean it's always frustrating when when you're having to watch. It's no, it's never nice. Um, and knowing that obviously. I was the reason that they were having to dig so deep wasn't great either, but um, but yeah, all credit to them. Learning so curve, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Every day's a school day, yeah. though, isn't it? So, I mean, we've said it, everyone's saying it on Twitter and your coaching staff have said it, what is so good about Saracens is like the depth of your squad, you know, and you had all the, everyone on the bench that was able to come on and change the game. So what is it about Saracens that, you know, there's such a cohesion in the team, what is it? that is the What's the magic ingredient or is there one? I don't know, everyone just wants to be... Best. their best and playing that starting shirt and, and I think that's credit to not just like the, the Premier 15 starting side today we had our um, development team out and they beat Quinns as well yeah. so it's credit to the whole squad everybody put a performance on and Thursday night of training like Alex I had coach turn around and said to us there's people that are not being selected for Saturday's first team game and they put their hand up at training so it's a constant competition it's constant yeah. driving yeah. each other to be better and not letting anybody sit on their laurels and, and fighting for your place yeah. in it and I think that's exactly the same as going Across each game, we've got to better ourselves, yeah. and it's not looking back at the last season or looking back. It's like each game as it comes, and we've got to better ourselves. Hey, Packer, best friends wins games, eh? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> every time. Right? So every are, time. You, are you for like the, the awesome foursome or something? With no, it? No, 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 absolutely not. not. Absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> what is it about women's rugby that is so exciting for everyone to watch? And yeah, yeah you get it. All you say is the last ten minutes of that game. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That I mean, for, 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 yeah, for it to be on Sky Sports, yeah. like Facebook, and. Um, live streamed and then to get that last 10 minutes of, of a league that is becoming so competitive yeah. like to know that any team can win it in that last 10 minutes is yeah. incredible and I think we haven't I don't think said it enough actually fair play to Quinns there like they yeah. put yeah. us yeah. real yeah. under the cross there and we had a dig deep yeah. Minutes was, oh yeah, yeah. They were, at times they were really they were really really good and like, they showed I mean they've got stacks of the contracted girls yeah. and like, we've got I've got three ra- ra- around me right yeah. now so yeah. actually there's such a quality in this league um, that you can get games like that that are really good to watch. And I mean, yeah. for the spectators, lots of them are like, that's Great the best game that. I've ever seen. Yeah. Men, female, male game, like the, the, one of the best games they've watched. So actually, yeah, uh, yeah, like these guys around me are really stepping up and um, we all are and playing good rugby that people yeah. want to watch. And there was some amazing noise, wasn't there, from the stands yeah. today? Yeah. Like, especially those last yeah. 10 minutes, yeah. really exciting. You've got only about five, six games left in the league and then the Six Nations. Anything that's a standout moment for you? Yeah, all we just of them. Sure, yeah, we've put, you know, we put up a best, like, Fights for the next couple of games because we can't we can't sit on Wrestle on the or, yeah, yeah we can't we can't sit on the fact that we're top of the league now it's like yeah. we got three real big games we've got Gloucester Bristol um, Loughborough and like three massive games so um, yeah I think we just need to <coughs> we need to go out at every one of them and it's, it's <coughs> knockout rugby for us now yeah so okay. it's uh, yeah it's a must win sort of thing you counting out Waterloo. Oh yeah, sorry, Waterloo as well. Oh my God, no! <laughs> 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 I'm Waterloo, obviously. All right, thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you very much. much. So, Adam, could we have picked a better game to cover today? It was amazing. <laughs> I mean, did you expect Saracens to st- stage that comeback? Um, no, I didn't. I mean, really, the first half. Uh, I think uh, we, we mentioned it to uh, to Gary Street. Um, you know, it looked like two heavyweight boxers going at each other. One of them, one of the team, you know, Harlequin scored, then Saracen scored, then Harlequin scored. Yeah. You know, and the first half, it looked like Quinns were going to run away with it. Yeah. And then the second half was kind of scrappy, and you kind of thought, well, the two yellow cards, obviously. Two were, yellow cards. Yeah. You think, right, well, Quinns have done enough. They've done enough, and they're going to go away with with the bonus point. And just keep possession, really. It should yeah. Have been, it? And there was one one opportunity. Um, that they had a chance to go for the points and they decided to go for a scrum and yeah. that was probably the turning point. Yeah. And but fair play to, 
to, fair play to both sides, but fair play to, to Saracens as well for um, for coming away with the win. Yeah, and it, perhaps unexpected that it was it's so late on in the game, but yeah, typical but Saracens style, right? You, know you can't what, write them off. You know what? Regardless of it, if it's Saracens, if it's Harlequins, if it's you know men's or women's sport, like, this is what sport is all about. Yeah, it exactly. Was a, this kind of game, and you don't leave ten minutes before. It's basically yeah, what basically we're yeah. yeah. Don't don't try and beat the rush. But yeah. you know what? It, it was great to be here, and um, you know, fair play to every single one of those players. That yeah, I think they both put the an incredible shift in, didn't they? And as we were saying before, they've both got incredible depth. Those squad, but Saracens probably have got this slight advantage. They've got more that they can select on the bench, and that's what all the coaching staff have said, haven't they? Exactly, and that's made the difference. Yeah. So brilliant. Well, listen, thank you very much for watching. And make sure, if you haven't already, you like, you subscribe, and you get involved on social media at a Women's Rugby Show. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, I guess we will see you next time. See you next time. Bye.